outplayed Hoxrachi, flinching Pokemon to death since 2003. Hello YouTube! This is Chris Maniac bringing you folks another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. And this battle is against Cameron. And I, I brought a new team right here. It is composed of my pretty slow team of uh, attackers and defensive Pokemon. And a Galvantula just to set up Sticky Web so my slow Pokemon can start hitting stuff and not speeding stuff. And uh, yeah, I actually have Pokemon, Pokemon right here too. Which is my Golurk with Stealth Rocks. Thought from Move Tutor from last generation, and um, my uh, Umbreon with Foul Play and Heal Bell. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to use these guys. By the way, folks, I don't Pokegen. All my folks are legit. So these guys, my um, Umbreon and my Gold don't have perfect IVs. Um, so the thing that's trending in Cameron's team is his freaking Jirachi because he can Iron Head my Pokemon like crazy and get, like, like, claw his way back into the match. You'll see what happens in a, um, like in a bit, because that's what he exactly does. Anyways, um, he makes all this the bomb on my Golurk, and that doesn't really work out because I just stay inside the rocks. And he thought I was a shot right there, or something. I don't know what he's predicting there, actually, with his fake out, but... Anyway, he's got free rocks, that's nice. And he has his Gliscor, I'm like, ooh, that's killable! Because I actually thought, um, Ice... Ice Punch on this guy, too. Huh, <laughs> uh, um, from Move Tutor. So right here, I just stay in. He was toxic, just anticipating my switch, right? But I stay in, I'm not scared of this Gliscor because I can get a big hit off the Ice Punch and that's, like, that's boosted by Iron Fist too, so that almost takes the Gliscor out, that is freaking awesome. That does so much damage to Gliscor, and the, actually, I actually was surprised by that damage because Gliscor is pretty defensive and my Golurk doesn't have that much attack investment, so that doing that much damage really surprised me. That was incredible, that much damage you getting done to that glist score. Anyways, I can just stay in here with Petra, my goaler, because I'm not really that afraid of what this glist score could do to me because I can take an earthquake, I can hit him up with Ice Punch, and uh, ah, you get devastated by it. In comes Napoleon, the Empoleon, lol. I got that reference, and besides, Empoleon is based after Napoleon because it's Emperor and it's a Penguin, yes. <laughs> Anyways. I I shall punch that penguin and that doesn't that is a pretty decent amount of damage to it. And uh, right here I can just earthquake this penguin if I wanted to. But let's see what they go for. Okay, so this is a right there. Not wanting to get a scald or ice beam because I think he might outspeed me just basing it on how they how he brought it in. But these days, um Empoleons tend to be especially defensive. But yeah, I bring in Cassie because she can take any sort of hit, and then go for a thunderbolt, hitting that Empoleon. And for super effective damage, and this confirms that he is actually a special defensive wall because that doesn't knock it out. And he goes for a default, taking away my rocks. So this is a this is a, a fourth gen uh, move, to, like a, a TM move for Empoleon, and it's pretty interesting. It's another Pokemon Egg Poke. Anyways, I bring in um, I bring in my Golurk just to set up rocks again, and he brings out Jirachi. And I'm like, no, please no, I hate Jirachi. So right here, I'm like, okay, Petra, you can just set rocks, and you could like um, get killed by this Jirachi probably, and um, or perhaps get off an earthquake. So I'm I'm at a pretty good position right here. If he doesn't hack me up, so he goes for first Iron Head right here, and that glitches me. And that sucks. And I'm like, okay, okay, Petra, just set up stop rocks, and you're good, man. Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. So um, hopefully he won't set up another. He won't punch me again. So he goes for Ice Punch, and that takes me out. So that sucks. This Jirachi is already um, trolling me hard this battle. I didn't get my stuff drops up. I could have knocked that thing out if I got Earthquake off earlier. But yeah, that Jirachi is such a troll. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a foul play with my um, Umbreon right here. And I'm hoping to hit at least one foul play and then revenge kill this, revenge kill this Jirachi um, later on. And uh, yeah, take it out for the match. So he goes for Iron Head right here. Finishes me the first time, finishes me another time. And I'm like, okay, come on, Nora, you got this, man. And he goes, got my foul play and wish protect and get all your HP back and this thing's uh this thing's iron heads will be useless. So he goes for another iron head right here and I get another flinch. I'm like, come on, this thing is such a hackster. This is so annoying. And I, I'm not even paralyzed right now. And he goes for his last iron head and I'm like, okay, I can live one. Okay, I don't live one more. So that thing just swept that thing just destroyed two Pokemon without those Pokemon doing anything. And that really really sucks. 
Anyways, he goes for Ice Punch right here. It slows him down uh, because of my Gooey ability. And I can just hit him up with a Fire Blast or a Flamethrower. And it does a lot of damage to Jirachi. And he's thinking he might not um, like hit like... Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not going to outspeed me next turn. Um, so uh, that piece of shot right there, he goes into the Sableye. And Sableyes are pretty annoying, so I need to take this thing out at ASAP. So I go for a Flamethrower again, just expecting the Jirachi to, 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 to stay in. And that's almost 50% to that Sableye, that's great. Because I can hit it up next turn with uh, Dragon Balls and knock it out. He goes for Toxic and my Gudra, that doesn't really matter to me because my Gudra um, <laughs> doesn't really mind that. Um, she's just in here just to like, dish out damage and take um, special attacks. And that does um, shorten her longevity, but that, that doesn't really matter to me in the long run. Because uh, Cassie will just be out that, that one, um, with one move anyways from this point. Anyways, in comes Ambipom. And that monkey is a big threat in this team because it can outspeed all my Pokemon and hit them for pretty hard damage. In comes the uh, Titanic, and I'm hoping he doesn't have low kick on this Ambipom because Titanic is actually pretty heavy and low kick has higher base power if your Pokemon are heavier. And that's super effective against my uh, Titanic too. So let's out right there, just scouting to see what he'll do, to see if he has a low kick. And I bring in Yuki, my mobile, just to get an intimidate off and see what he's gonna do. So, he goes for a U-turn right here, and that is fine, it tells me that like, he doesn't have low kick. That is great, because now, I can just set up with my, with my, uh, what's it called? Mawile. And Mawile hits like a freaking truck. And, uh, yeah, did you all see how, folks? So he raises his gust score, and that's, this should wall me pretty good, right? Okay, so, never mind, I don't do that yet. So I switch out right there. In comes Titanic, just so I can turn this thing out with an avalanche. And so I can, like, uh, I don't know, do stuff, and take care of and stuff. I guess that's what Titanic does, takes Earthquakes, 6 Pokemon, and like you saw Titanic at 1902, 1912, 1912, I believe. So, um, he uses uh, Poison Heal, and he's almost at full health again, so uh, I'm like, that sucks, I need to do Avalanche here right now. So he goes for Protect, I go for Avalanche, and of course he gets more HP back. I got more HP back in the process, so that's fine by me, and I can knock this thing out with Avalanche later on if I need to. But I just need to keep my Avalog for his uh, Discord though. So here guys, let's, we're not wanting to sacrifice it just like that. So it comes to Polion, his Ampolion, his uh, so like uh, it's all shiny and stuff. I should start right there, expecting as a Polion to come in, and I bring in my Mawa once again. So this gives me a free opportunity to have a Sword Dance, and um, I hope he doesn't burn me with Skull. That's the only thing I'm hoping for. So I have a 30% chance of not um, getting hacked out right here. So I Mega Evolve into my Mega Mawa. Look at Yuki, she's so like um, awesome looking. Um, he saw the stock rocks right here, and that is great because now I can just uh, sword dance up, get my attack to sky high levels. Mawa has the highest attack of any non legendary, I believe. And he draws a Sympholeon, and right here, he switches into his Gliss score, and this Gliss is almost at full health. I go for Sucker Punch first, right? He goes for the Poison Heal, so he's at full health now. And I'm like, okay, I'll just stay in and then just play rough it. I'll just see how much it does. He goes for a three, doesn't do, it does knock me out. And I go for a play rough right here, and let's see how much it does. It clean takes the Gliss score off, I'm like, what? Whoa, whoa, wow, you monster, you beast. It took out a Gliss score, like, just like that? Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, Yuki's just doing a lot of work right now, just sucker punching stuff, play roughing um, defensive walls and absolutely annihilating them. So both of uh, his wall cores are taken out. And he goes Palm, I'm like, oh well damn, I can't really um, do much of this thing because it'll fake out, then it'll like uh um, I can't I can't really do anything, I can't really um, sucker punch it, but I don't want to really take that much damage from it, so I get to get a few more hits with um, this guy, or this girl rather. I go for a sucker punch right there, and that was a bad play by me. I go for a sucker punch again, and I was hoping that he would hit me. Because these guys didn't have run Body Slam instead of Thunder Wave, but he does run Thunder Wave on this guy, and I'm paralyzed, so I'm like, damn! More hacks! So I really, really want to destroy the Jirachi. I hate Jirachi. There's a special place in hell for people who use Jirachi. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but I just hate Jirachi. <laughs> so I, I was just kidding, I didn't really mean that, but um, he played just me with another fake out right here. And I'm just gonna spam um, Sucker Punch, but now he outplays me and he didn't go, he went for a attacking move right there. So that was a really a great move on this part. I didn't um, go for a Sucker Punch right there, I, was just, I just went for a play rough. Um, so yeah, that was a very great play on Cameron's part. Anyways, I bring, I bring a Titanic, I can pretty much lost um, Ambipom because I know he doesn't have low, low kick. So he goes for a U-turn right there, and then I just go for the Avalanche, I believe, on anything that comes in. In comes Tornadus, and it is absolutely... Actually, I go for Rabbit Spin, rather. So I go for Rabbit Spin, 
it's been like a an awesome talk, and uh, yeah, I take all these rocks because my Titanic won't appreciate that. So he goes for a focus blast, and it hits, and it absolutely annihilates um my Titanic, and that destroys him. I was hoping it missed, and I did get off an avalanche, but that was only three percent chance. But you know, it was um, I can't really like sack him off, and I went for the what's it called? I went for the drivers been there because my Gabachula has a focus sash. And the focus sash is very important for his anti palm later on. So I go for Thunder right here, and I'm like, okay, I'm hoping Thunder everything else in this team. I thunder that Jirachi takes it out, so sorry Jirachi, go go away, I hate you. <laughs> so now I go to Jirachi. Um, I hate that thing, oh my goodness. England's anti palm, and I don't want to take a fake out, so I switch in uh, my other Pokemon, which is Cassie, to do sack this thing off. I need to get the Dewey off on him, so I'll be faster than him next turn, and I'll thunder that thing, bringing down uh, a lot of damage onto it. So uh, he he gets slowed down by um, the what's it called um, by Gooey and the poison takes me out. That really matters actually because now I can't um, outspeed him because I would have been able to outspeed him probably with the Gooey activated on his Ami Palm. So he's just out right there. In comes the Tornadus and it gets absolutely wrecked by a Thunder. Burn down the Thunder because Pokemon are dropping like flies in here. So yeah, he gets taken out by a Thunder. And it gets absolutely incinerated, destroyed, and he comes Ami Palm, and I'm like, oh darn, he won the game because he could fake out me, break my focus sash, and then double hit for the win. And I'm hoping to outspeed him right now, but I'm of course I'm not gonna outspeed him. That thing is probably jolly max speed, and I'm only like um, I don't know, 108 speed, and he has 115, so yeah, he totally outspeed me there. And that was a very close game. That was a 1-0 victory. But damn, that Jirachi, if that thing didn't hack me out, then I would have had a better chance of winning the battle. Anyways, that was a very great game, Cameron. Hope you folks enjoyed the battle. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you folks next time.